Hello, hello. It's Geneva coming in here. It's been a while since I've been on here. I'm sorry, I've been, I've been having a lot of problems. Yep. Um, but I was so excited to see a new word that the Lord gave Sister Carla. Uh, Sister Carla Smith, um, her and Jesus have the blog, a daughter of messiah1.blogspot.com. And he speaks directly to Carla. It's so beautiful. And I was so excited to see a new word on there the other day. So I'm going to do what I usually do and read verbatim from the blog. And I'll leave a link down there to the, in the description box of the blog. And this word from the Lord is called Old Wineskins. And like I usually say, um, these are words directly from the Lord. So please let's have the, the most reverence for them. Please, you know, just be, have a lot of respect for these words. All right. Old Wyden Skins. And she got this on Thursday, September 15th, 2022. All right. My daughter, the cries from my people are cries of desperation. They cry wondering what is on the horizon what will become of their future they see the world around them knowing nothing is as it seems my unwavering ones are steadfast in their walk before me knowing i am with them there are some that waver in their thinking wanting to hang on to old wineskins that have far passed away, and they are not aware of my timing. They cling to the familiar, wanting nothing to do with my plans. Safety is in me, run to me. Submit to my refinement. Pray for my wisdom to carry you forward. Be steadfast in reading my word. Ask for my guidance through my Holy Spirit. He will lead you if you submit your own will to him. Repent of all sins. And then it has this in all caps. Run, run to the refiner's fire and be purified. Forgive all who have wronged you. Forgive, and I will comfort you and heal you, and, and sorry, and heal your broken heart. Purification is needed to move forward in the days to come. To hear my voice guiding you, build up your faith and prayer. Ask me to strengthen you and give you direction. Thank you, Yeshua, Jesus, for this word. I love you. All right. I am just wanted to mention something. Um, and then I, I think I'm going to do a different video for these scriptures for this. There's four scriptures. All right. Um, forgiveness is so key. Forgiveness is so key. I can't emphasize that enough. And the word does say... You know, if we don't forgive others, then God won't forgive us. And we don't want that. Believe me, we don't want that. Um, and forgiveness, a lot of people think that it's, that it's a feeling that they have to, that they have to muster up forgiveness on their own. You can actually help, you can actually ask the Lord to help you with this. Um, it's just it's such a huge subject, let me say. Um, forgiveness is really for you and your relationship with the Lord. Um, and the word is very key on that. We have to forgive people. We have to forgive people no matter what they've done. And believe me, I've had some really bad stuff done to me. And I've had to forgive everyone. And thank the Lord, literally, I did this a couple decades ago. Um, but I, 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 yeah, in my younger years, I, I had a lot of 
resentment and maybe even some hate because I've, I've been through a lot. But thank God, literally, that he just put it within me to just forgive everyone. It was, it was awesome. And the peace that you feel, you don't, when you forgive someone or forgive, you know, all these people, if you've had a lot of people do stuff bad to you like I have, it's, it's so freeing, you know, you don't use up all this, all this, you know, all this space in your head, oh, this person, that person, that person. It's so freeing to just let it go and say, Lord, I forgive them. Lord, I forgive them. And really there's no greater time. There's no greater need than this time right now. We're in a very crucial time. We've been in a crucial time. We keep getting closer and closer. And I think those of us who have the Holy Spirit can feel that. Something's been on the horizon, but we just keep inching closer and closer. There's so many crazy things going on. People are getting crazier. More evil, evil things are happening. Evil laws, <laughs> including Illinois has a doozy coming up. Uh, that begins January. Everyone's calling them the first state, the first purge state. It's horrible. Um, but forgiveness, we just have to do it because we do not want the Lord to not forgive us. We need his forgiveness. Um, it frees you. And what I was going to say is that we do it because the word says to do it. And most of the time, the person that we are forgiving does not deserve it but we do it because the Lord tells us to do it and because it's good for us. That's, that's the main thing I wanted to say. It's really for us. The Bible and everything that the Lord says to do in there is really about bettering us and helping us within us, you know? So forgiveness is absolutely key. And, you know, people will say, well, you don't know what this person did. You don't know what that person did. <laughs> I probably have a pretty good idea because I've been through so much. Um, and I don't know if it's because of the anointing that the Lord has placed on my life for decades, but I've always been the one that people just instantly don't like, instantly, whether it's bad spirits and them want to attack me. It's just an ongoing issue. <laughs> people are always bad to me. Um, but... You know, we just, I don't know where I was going with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, we just, we have to forgive. We just have to forgive people. Um, and the word is very clear on this. All right, I'm just going to do another quick video um, to just give you the scriptures. All right. Remember, God loves you so much. He sent his only son, Jesus, to die for you watching this video. He died for you. All right doing another video. All right. Love you.